Now in today's video, we're taking a look at one of the most advanced robot solutions that we have had in the channel in a very long time. Uh, this is the Yarbo, and this is an autonomous robot that not only can it patrol your property, but it also has the ability to cut the grass, uh, blow the snow, uh, it does, it has a blower, it has a plow, so many things that this product is capable of. And to call it or to think of it as a lawnmower would not do it justice. This is much, much more than that. So in today's video, guys, we're going to talk about this product. We're going to go over some of the things that we received. Uh, we're not able to do a full video yet because we just started thawing out here in Chicago and the grass or the ground is really mushy. So I really can't use it yet, but I wanted to share with you all of the components that we have so you can see what you can expect. And again, so that you can prep your questions or ask them now. Um, I'm having an amazing time setting this product up. It's one of the best documented products that I've seen on the market. And it's just incredible the type of technology that's available today. Like this is the future, but the future now. Let's get right to it. Now, the weather here in Chicago is just starting to let up, and unfortunately, I didn't get the Yarbo on time to be able to take advantage of some of the snow capabilities. And frankly, we had a really light winter this year, so we really didn't get much snow at all, at least in the era that I am. But what I wanted to do is give you kind of like a sense of what you can expect, because we're going to be doing a series of reviews that are going to kind of highlight each one of the capabilities. Uh, but I got it unboxed, got it charged, got it connected, and I wanted to show you what we're going to be covering. Uh, first of all, uh, we have several modules. We have the actual robot itself, and you can see that right in the back lit up. And this is much more than, I would say, a, a lawnmower. This is an autonomous vehicle. It's an autonomous robot because it could do so much more than just cut grass. And it's modular. It's powerful. We're talking about not only does that little guy have the ability to connect to all those little uh, adapters, or not even little adapters, large adapters that you see right next to it, but it has a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. That is significant. So you would never thought that something that small would have that power. And it looks powerful. When you look at it, it has tank treads. And the treads really, depending on the, uh, I would say, the season, the time of the year, you would switch between the th treads that it has on right now or the treads that you could see right there. Those are the snow treads uh, that we don't have connected. So this thing is super powerful and it has amazing technology also inside of it. It has anti-theft technology. It has um, all these different sensors on the sides in the front. Uh, one of the things I asked a representative at CES was, what happens in the winter? We get brutal winters in Chicago. What, should this go inside? The answer is absolutely not. And that's because the actual system itself kind of heats itself uh, to keep the battery uh, ready and also prevents any kind of damage. So that is really cool. The fact that this can sit out in the Chicago winter, not, I won't, I won't expect any kind of damage taking place to the robot or to the battery itself because it self heats. Matter of fact, last night I had this plugged in and I conducted a test. I connected it to, well, first of all, I disconnected it from power and it was hundred percent powered. And by noon the next day, I was able to see that the battery went from 100% to 60%. That means that overnight, keeping itself warm because it got chilly, it actually used 40% of the battery to keep itself ready. Now, again, this was an extreme test. I disconnected it from power because I wanted to get a sense of how much power was it going to use to keep itself warm. And that was my answer. Now, you'll also notice on the robot there, there's a couple antennas. So this thing is using several things. It's using Wi-Fi in the house to be connected. It's using also GPS satellites uh, to connect to the actual uh, satellites and, and determine where it's at. It also has Wi-Fi. It has Bluetooth. And it has a data center that I'll show you in a second that's on top of my home. And I put it at the very top so that I can uh, make sure that I can get the best coverage possible and then also uh, make sure that this robot has what it needs to be accurate when it comes to just lawn care. Now, again, we're going to go further into this robot um, a little bit later once we do the uh, in-depth review. But what you also then have here is a module that is really the, the grass cutting module. This connects to the robot in the back, and this is what's going to cut the grass. And I'll tell you, each one of these weigh it a lot. So this is not for the faint of heart. You're going to have to pick this up, but it has tons of sensors when I look at this thing. So you'll notice in the front, it does have cameras. On the sides, it also has cameras. So this is aware of everything that's going on. Um, and not only can this robot cut grass with this module that you see right here, but it also, uh, on its own, can serve as a sentry solution. Like, it will literally 
detect any kind of movement and warn that you've been identified. So it's, it's kind of like having like a robotic dog in your house too. So you can have this, if you have a large property and you want this to kind of periodically check and see what's going on on your property, it has that sentry mode, which is really cool. On the side over here, you'll notice something else I have. I have the actual uh, snowing solution. And this is a solution, obviously, I won't be able to show you because I don't really have any snow, but we will connect it and we'll power it up so you can see how it works. The cool thing about this is if you know snow, uh, having something that uh, just picks up the snow is one thing, but having the chute uh, chunk the snow up and break it up into pieces so you can throw it out is critically important. And that is something that this thing will do as well. And it has tons of sensors. I'm going to bring the camera over there for a second so you can see. So you can see here all the sensors this guy has front and we'll get on this side as well. You can see the sides right there. It has sensors or actually cameras. Uh, on the back, there's a, there's a data connection right there that it connects to, power connection, and that I'll show you where it's going to connect. As we come over here to the snowblower, the snowblower, also pretty cool, has in the front, has right there a uh, camera, and then you'll notice on the sides, everything that's going on. It's Surprisingly, it's a little bit smaller, so let's, let's just put it like this so you can see it. It's a little bit smaller, it seems than the actual uh, lawnmower solution over there. Has fewer, uh, it lo looks like it has fewer cameras too. So you don't have much going on here except in the front. And then over there, you obviously have the size and, and then uh, what's going on in the front as well. Now the robot, one of the things that you're gonna be able to do with this robot as well is there's a new adapter coming out that's gonna be a trimmer. You'll be able to use a trimmer to be able to trim the size of your grass too. So not only cut your grass, but you'll be able to do a trim. And oh, one of the things I wanted to highlight too that I got, this is pretty cool. It has a plow. Check it out. It has a plow. So if let's say you don't have enough snow for that guy to work, but you just want to plow, you could use this to plow too. Who would have thought that that is super cool. Now over here, what we have going on is the robot and I have a module connected to it. That module in the back basically is when I'm not using any of those other ones, gets connected and also has cameras. You notice how it has some cameras right there. That's actually the, the back of the robot. The front is on the other side and that's where all of these pieces get connected. So um, I'm able to take that off and then connect the other ones. You'll see the two antennas that I was referring to right there. So you see those are the antennas that are used for the GPS. You can see the other antenna right there that we have as well. And then you can see that it has uh, the actual uh, other camera right there seeing. So it is fully aware. The other thing is that it has a speaker in it. So if you want to listen to music while this guy is working, <clears throat> you'll be able to listen to music. And I'll tell you, it is deep and throaty. This is this has bass. I was so surprised when the robot speaks. You can really hear that. It's almost like that Robocop voice. It's uh, pretty deep and pretty cool. Uh, so the robot itself is pretty simple when you really think about it from the outside, uh, outside of that menacing look. And then in the front right here, where you can see that, and let me go ahead and put the camera down, right there is the uh, an area where you'll be able to power it out and do things. Now this solution has also the ability to charge via a pad or charge via a port that you'll find in there. Let me show you the pad. I'm gonna just go to pan over here for a second so you can see where I have my pad. So this is the charging pad, and this charging pad is wireless. And the robot knows exactly where this pad is. It comes here, parks in place, and it charges, right? Completely wirelessly. Um, I'm not gonna call it Qi charging, but think about how when you're charging your phone with the Qi charger, works the same way. So definitely this is not your average robot when it comes to you know the type of robots that you're starting to see that cut the lawns. Uh, I would say for those of you who are trying to get your head around this, think about your vacuum mop robot that you have in your house. Uh, think about that, but this is like so much more advanced. Uh, those just do one or two things or three things. It mops, it vacuums, and then uh, it could also then uh, sweep as well. But these do much more given all these different adapters and given the technology that's in. Super robust technology, and this is designed to be in the outdoor. So we're going to be really looking forward to how this works. Uh, I'll be running some you know, doing some mapping, and then I'll share with you my experience on mapping. Uh, right now, I tried running it to see if I could map uh, some of our boundaries on our grass, but we are still very 
there's a lot of saturated moisture from the winter and from the rain that we've had. And all it does is it just, it's gonna ruin the lawn. So we're gonna stay away from that right now. But just wanted to give you a sense of what's come in and you know what you can expect. We'll go over more in detail specs uh, once we start doing our in-depth review. Uh, the other thing that you have here is this remote control. No joke, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, whatever you wanna call it, you know, standard remote control. Uh, you could use this to actually control the robot and drive it around when it comes to mapping. And that's something that's really important, right? When you're, when you're doing that. So pretty cool that it has this. And then there's so much documentation. I haven't seen a product um, on the market that is as well documented as this solution is. It has guides, videos, step-by-step. -step. The process is long, but the process is easy. Uh, and when I say long is that there's things that you have to do to set this up. Like putting the robot together, all you have to do is put the antennas on and put the smart assist module in the back, that's it. But the other things that you have to do, like um, prep the area, uh, uh, put your antenna. Let me show you my antenna for a second. All right, so look all the way up there. That is the antenna. I have it all the way on top where what's called the data center. And that is, you know, maintaining a GPS uh, connection, right? So that the robot knows exactly where it's at and what's going on. Now, the robot itself has antennas too, right? So between that and what's going on with the robot, it gets extremely precise. Now again, this is not a review. This is just a first look of some of the things that we've gotten in for the Yarbo. And we're gonna be doing some in-depth reviews so that you can get a better sense of what this robot is capable of and think about how you could benefit from having something like this on your property or in your home. Fantastic technology you know, space age technology, if you want to call it that, but it is definitely uh, something that we've never seen before and far, far more advanced than a standard lawnmower. It can just do so much more. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you uh, ask questions. If you have any about the Yarbo, happy to respond to them. And we're going to see how our experience is in the weeks to come.